Hi, my name is Sven and I'm from Geeks Life Luxembourg here on the LuxCon on the Saturday. I'm here with Uni Cosplay which will introduce yourself a bit more to the people behind the screen. Hello, I'm Uni Cosplay, known uh, for my Zara for my Zarya and of course my barbarian. Uh, I want to try the, Euro uh, the European Championship on Gamescom last year and the last and the year before that year. And uh, I'm here on LuxCon. Um, sitting around, waiting for people to come by and say hi. <laughs> okay, so um, my next question is, what is actually your main inspiration for doing your cosplays? Are you the uh, main theme you actually always want to do, or is it just uh, out of your head what comes in your mind? Uh, actually, um, I love doing cosplay because I can be another person. So when I do a costume, I'm just like, Feeling into that character and just becoming that character is one of my favorite things to do. So I started that hobby actually just because I wanted to feel different. Just not my little Kelly self, <laughs> which is like, hi, <laughs> what are you doing? And then when I started, uh, example, for example, doing the barbarian, um, I felt more confident than I normally am. And before I started the barbarian, it was just like, oh, I'm gonna do an armor one day. I just wanna do an armor one day. <laughs> and I am not the thinnest woman in the world. I mean, I'm flappy, <laughs> so no. <laughs> and yeah, so. I needed to find a character that fits actually my body type. So I started to search for um, characters which are more bulky, which have more on their things. <laughs> so, um, and as a gamer as well, I was just like, that's it. I will do a barbarian. <laughs> And the same works for the Zarya, which is in my eyes actually just a barbarian with a laser gun. <laughs> Pretty much sums it up. There was science fiction <laughs> barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> so um, um, it was on games on the same Gamescom. I wore the barbarian. A good friend of mine actually saw that the Zarya is coming out, and I was like, "Oh, it could be something I could do." <laughs> I did it for the next year. Um, I was just for both costumes. I'm putting my heart into it, and I'm just like, I want to do more. <laughs> it's not important for me to win or to be there or whatever. It's just important for me to have fun in my costume with good friends or with people that actually like my work or whatever. Um, just have a good time. And cosplay is just doing that for me. Having a good time with friends. Okay, so I think you also have, always have the time to build up your costume. So, uh, how much do you normally take for you know, a novel like uh, your female barbarian? Well, um, for my female barbarian, for the armor itself, um, it was about half a year. But since I studied a lot and had also to do any uh, other things, I wanted to upgrade it more. I took actually a whole year to actually finish the whole thing. So um, the barbarian has actually four weapons, so it took nearly as much time to do the weapons as to do the other thing, as to do the armor, just because I studied abroad. And yeah, for Zarya, it was kind of it was less time actually. <laughs> I needed just, uh, I think three months for the costume itself, and another three months for that damn gun. I hate that gun. No, I really hate it. <laughs> it was this, just so much things in there that was like, holy shit, the fuck is it? <laughs> it's like, when you do it, do it uh, when you're building a weapon or when you're building a whole costume, it's, I just want to make it perfect. And that's why I need so much time because this little, little evil perfectionist here up my head and it's like, <laughs> It's not perfect. You need to redo it. That paint job is not good enough. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Yeah, so I actually end up with more time than actual uh, than I actually want to put in that. <laughs> yeah, but it actually makes a, more, a much more detailed work afterwards because you're always just doing these tiny little things which uh, yeah. weren't just as you liked them and then you put them back anyway. Yeah, so it's. Really, the details which are doing it actually for most people. Uh, when I did the The Barbarian, I actually had two white vials of um, so, uh, heat potions back uh, over here, so somewhere on my hip. And when I turned around on, uh, on Gamescom uh, two years ago for the contest, the people of the, uh, the judges were just like, oh my god, she has heat potions. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's little things that people actually enjoy in your costume. So when you have something like, uh, you have your barbarian, and you can actually do the war cry of the barbarian, then they are all like, oh my god, she's good, she did the war cry, oh my god, the battle cry is good, it's I think, I think the people on the stage where we were at, uh, at the contest, they were actually very amazed because they did the whole scream on, on, on stage. Yeah, they were very shocked to see it actually happen. Yeah, well, when, oh, on Gamescom actually, when I actually did the screen, they were like, or all like this, and suddenly the, all the people which were so quiet, or the, the crowd was so quiet and not really animated at all, and suddenly they all burst into crying and, 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 and what the fuck just happened? <laughs> People are going crazy because of uh, the acting I actually do. So when I was at BlizzCon last year with my Zarya, I actually had that uh, that Russian accent for Zarya, which I trained for in, in German and in English. Uh, there was one woman that she just couldn't believe it anymore, and she was crying and and, and, and starting to run around and was like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! She's Zarya! Oh my god! She did the voice! Oh my god! It's so crazy!" And I was like, okay, I'm just going over there, so you can calm down. <laughs> and maybe I just turn around and go away. <laughs> it was so crazy. It's, uh, here it's kind of crazy to cosplay, but in America there's like a whole other level. <laughs> it's just crazy. When you do the acting, it's open. <laughs> but were you actually very nervous to go on stage? Because at BlizzCon is actually a pretty big shot. So. Uh, at BlizzCon, yeah. uh, I actually um, wanted to say something on stage and I was like, blank. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> Maybe I'm just sitting there and like, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I wanted to say actually something on stage and since I, what was the first time for me on the BlizzCon stage, which is live casted, <laughs> which is just live all over the world. People from Germany are seeing it, uh, people from Luxembourg are looking at it, uh, people from, I don't know, Chinese people are looking at it, and they're just a big crowd in front of you, and you're just like, what am I doing here? That's impressive. <laughs> Damn impressive, yeah, very, very impressive. Uh, oh well, I wish I could have taken that one <laughs> to, the, to the stage because for me that cry, uh, that battle cry I always do is like releasing stress. So when you are on, it's kind of like you have not kind of in yourself and when you're crying that out. Just to let everything know. It's, it's, it's just, it just releases the load and everything comes out like a really big battle cry and everyone goes, whoa! <laughs> And you're just like, yes. <laughs> just did the right thing. So I actually have just uh, one last question. It's actually one that interests me most of. Is uh, do you have actually some new plans for a new armor that's going on? Uh, I actually have a few plans. <laughs> so yeah, right now I'm in the middle of um, making myself a kind of like a how do you say it? I'm making my own man kind of. Like uh, making a um, uh, <laughs> oh <God>. damn. <laughs> um, I'm making myself employed, kind of. Okay. So right now I don't have so much time for my costumes, unfortunately. Yeah. But I will, the next costume, which will be made, is actually another one of Diablo, oh. and that's um, Imperius. Okay. The Archangel Imperius. I just love um, those wings, and since, since he is one of the, I, um, 
more iconic characters. Yes, he's a very iconic character of the game, firstly, and secondly, he's a strong character of the game. Like, he's so persistent that you have to leave heaven. And he always comes back for you and says, next time I'll see you, I'll kill you. He's such a bitch, but I like him. And I just want um, to educate myself more in something. Like, um, I want to know how to work with something that you have actually on your back. So I so need to make... You're actually speaking of the wings. Yes. Like Those the... big, bulky shit pieces. <laughs> yeah, um, actually I'm planning on doing something really weird, which means I want to make it as big as possible. The wings. That means also as heavy as possible. As heavy as possible. Well, that one weighed 30 kilograms, so I can't take it. Um, uh, Zarya's weapon is about 10 kilograms of mine. <laughs> That's already heavy. It's already heavy. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to make these these wings as real as possible. Like, he has fire wings. Well, that's like, well, shit. <laughs> and secondly, those fire kind of feathers, they're like feathers of fire. Really long feathers of fire. And I needed to, to make them light, so they have to be light, but they have also to be lit. Well, shit. <laughs> and then there is um, the problem about the girls. Like, it has to be bigger. Like, I'm a big person. Imperius is a big person, goddammit. And um, for it to be look real, those wings, Okay, I need to make them so that I can just fit them together and that you can okay. transport them back to uh, But I will make them as big as possible and they will be kind of 4 meters, I think. They will be that's quite, that's quite a lot. Mm. I hope it's enough. <laughs> because well, mostly um, when you see people with wings, they look like tiny little pieces of I don't know what this is. It's just kind of like shrinking together on your back, and it lo just looks like you actually had an accident with, I don't know, a plane. <laughs> <laughs> and um, most people have so wonderful wings on their back, and they are just so, so tiny that you can't imagine how that will work actually. So I want to, with my characters, I want to give the um, the vision of a of a character that comes to life, and not just yeah, I do it a character, and since I can't do it like this, I'm just going to fuck the rings. <laughs> well. So you're actually going all out with it? Yeah, oh, I'm actually doing with all my characters. Like Zara had this voice acting, which just took a huge strain of me. Like, who do you wrote that on? Oh. It's like, Zara's R is always so rolling around, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's Russian. Oh, those are Russians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I needed to learn the accent for Azaria. I needed to learn how to really shout until my throat just hurts <laughs> for, for the barbarian. It's those little things that, I guess, say people go crazy and it's for imperious. Yes, for imperious, it's the same. I always use my voice as, well, as much as I can. And. Uh, I know when Imperius speaks, he has this deep voice, and he's just like, "You shall not be here, Nephilim," and I'm just like, "Chance, I'm still here," <laughs> and I'm just, yeah, and just want to personalize, personalize that person, that character which comes out of the game. I don't know where, and I just hope that I can make it. <laughs> make it happen. Yeah. yeah. Just do it. Yeah, I will do it. And it will not be the last one I do. And Hopefully. Not the epics. <laughs> the epicest one. The epicest one is a little bit of a secret. But I can't tell you so much. You will follow me, my minions. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody who's not knowing it, go look at Google. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you find it. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to spoil it. So yeah, that was actually everything from me now.
So thank you very much for the interview and for your time. And uh, I'd love to have a nice look